This is a patient who comes in with some flank pain and got a CT scan without intravenous contrast. But we can see that most of the organs look pretty okay. As we scroll downwards, uh, not too much to comment on. And no oral contrast was given for this study, so it's always a little bit more challenging to evaluate loops of bowel without oral contrast. We really do have to look at everything. If we look at this very carefully, you can see right here in the right lower quadrant, there's a loop of bowel hair that looks fluid-filled, a little bit distended, kind of looks like small bowel, except for the fact that it's arising from the base of the cecum. You can see the terminal ileum just cephalate to it, and inferior, more inferiorly at the cecum, there's this fluid-filled loop of bowel, and it's blind ending over there. And so this is a good look for the appendix. The appendix is distended. We also see that there's some calcifications and high density content around the wall of this distended appendix. This whole appearance is classic for appendiceal mucosal. A number of causes can result in this, including underlying neoplasms. This was incidentally picked up in this patient who's having a little bit of flank pain.